Hey everybody, what is going on? Wanted to make another really quick video to explain something that happened to a carrier of mine recently. Um, just got off the phone with a carrier and trying to walk them through what they need to do to basically fix this problem that we're looking at. Uh, the carrier did a load for $2,600. Uh, today's date is November 23rd, um, 2021. Um, it is the week of Thanksgiving. Um, holidays, there's always crazy rates during the holidays um, because brokers have to pay carriers more money to run loads because of the holiday season. People want to get home and they don't want to do certain loads. So capacity can get really tight. Um, that's how brokers describe it. We say the, the capacity is really tight in the market right now. So we need more money from the customer to be able to pay the carrier to do the job. Um, so rates are higher right now during holiday season and they're going to remain to be high, high um, all the way until probably maybe the first or second week of January. But again, right now it is the week of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was going to be in two days from now. But I want to explain to you a real quick situation with a carrier. Um, this happens all the time. Got my my old desk phone from back back in the day, um, where the the broker is going to call up a carrier and say, "Hey, listen, I got a load for you. It's going to be twenty six hundred dollars. Um, you know, can you do it? Can you not?" The and, and the carrier could be asking for three grand. The broker doesn't care. The broker's just going to tell them whatever they want to hear to get them to do the load. The broker's like, yeah, I'll pay you 2600 bucks. Can you do the load? Are you going to be able to do it? Awesome. All right, I'm going to send you the rate con. And then the broker, he sends the rate confirmation over to the carrier. Um, carrier did this load, but I guess to sort of take one step back, the carrier got googly-eyed. $2,600 to do a load. Oh, my gosh. Yes. It's a ton of money. It's a ton of money. The carrier didn't take the time to do a credit check on the broker. There are so many shady brokers out there that you got to protect yourself. Nobody wants to work for free. So in terms of order of operations and what you need to do is you need to see a load that's posted. When the load's posted, before you even make the phone call, you grab the MC number and you go to the credit check system. You know, over here, we have my credit check system that we use over here at G Squared Funding for freight factoring. I'm a freight factor. That's what I do. I used to be a carrier sales rep. I used to be a broker. This is what I do now. We have a tool. We have a resource. You can do this on your phone. You can do this on your laptop. You can call into the credit check hotline. Do the broker credit check. You know, I was just slamming this in for an example. You know, as you can see right here, we have a highlight um, yellow stamp. There's three stamps. It's green, it's yellow, it's red, just like a stoplight driving on the road. Green is go. If you type in the broker's name and it pops up as green, it's good to go. You can work with them. Take that load, say yes to the broker, heck yeah, I'll take that load, give it to me. Done deal. If it's yellow, yellow means it needs further consideration. Um, you can click on this button right here. All this information, if every single one of these is green in this bracket, you're good to go. If one of them is yellow and all of these are green, you need to call into the credit check online and say, hey, listen, we got a load, well, potential load. It's going to be with TQL Trucking Inc. Um, looks like they're out of California. This is not TQL that everybody knows. This is TQL Trucking Inc. Um, and um, hey, you know, calling into the credit check hotline, TQL Trucking Inc. MC number, it's 18040. It has a yellow score. Can you tell me whether or not uh, it's approved to work with or not? Oh, it is approved. Awesome. Thank you for confirming. Hang up the phone, pick up the phone, call the broker back, say, yes, okay, we can factor the load and take it with you. Give it to us. It's really that simple. And then there's a, uh, there's, this is the yellow stamp. And then there's a red stamp. Red means stop, means dead, means it's a shady broker. Don't work with them. Um, that's how the credit check system works. I'm going to backpedal real quick and type in a different one, TQL, just for illustration purposes for the video. And it's loading right here. Uh, TQL, uh, Total Quality Logistics. That's the one that everybody knows. But I want to show you in the system so you can see how one of the hotshot, big, big top 10 brokers in the United States, um, how they look in the credit check system. So let's wait for it to load. Hopefully it won't take too much longer. There we go. Scroll down. There it is. Big green stamp. It's approved. Every single one of those is highlighted in green. You're good to go. If this bottom one was yellow and all of these were green, you're good to go. So that's how the credit check works. And if you saw one that was red, 
you just, it's dead. You don't even call that broker back. But in terms of order of operations, just to backpedal again, how you're, how you're getting a load from a carrier, uh, excuse me, from a broker, how a carrier is getting a load from a broker before you even pick up that call, that phone to make the call to talk about the broker, talk to them about the load, the dimensions, how much they're paying, where's it going, what time does it pick up? Check the credit. You need to check the credit first before you make the phone call. Because what if you make the phone call, you've negotiated price, pickup, ETA, delivery, everything, and then you check the credit and then you realize it's red, they have horrible credit, you've spent 15 minutes talking to somebody when you could have been talking to four other people with good credit. You've wasted your time and, and time is everything. Speed is the name of the game of the freight business. So you got to check the credit before. Um, but to go back to this example um, with the carrier that I'm working with, um, she received a call from a broker. He saw that their posted truck was up on DET. He said, hey, I see you got your truck posted up. I got a load for you. Are you going to be able to do it? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, well, $2,600, $2, you can make that work. Awesome. All right, send me the load. Carrier then at that point gets googly eyed about twenty six hundred dollars and just is excited and just doesn't check the credit. They get to the shipper, they pick up the load, BOL, get to the receiver, POD, garbage credit. They can't do the load. It's like okay, fine. All right, the factoring company, we're not going to be able to factor the load because it's a garbage a broker, and you shouldn't have been working with them anyway. Call the broker back, and let's see if they'll pay you with quick pay. That's the other option to get paid. There's three ways to get paid. I cover that in another video. Please check out the other video. There's three ways. Factoring, quick pay, and then waiting 30 days to get paid. Nobody wants to wait 30 days, so you're either going to do factor or quick pay. So call that broker back and see, hey, we got 2600 bucks. Can he pay you with quick pay? Because we're not factoring it because it's a crappy broker. Are they going to be able to? They're not even answering the phone anymore. We can't even get anybody on the phone over at this broker. Okay. We have an email address to the broker sales rep that sold them this load. But we can't even get them on the phone. So we've emailed them multiple times. Now we're reaching out to a lawyer to go through the process of sending a demand letter. We go to the Federal Motor Carrier Association website, FMCSA, and we're able to look up the MC number of the broker and the address that's on file for the filing of the LLC of the creation of the company and sending the demand letter to that address. And, or at the same time, capturing the articles of incorporation off of that website and knowing whose name is on the company and having it addressed to them. That's the next step in the process for the legal pursuit that they're going to have to do now. They did this load today. It's the, uh, it's the 23rd of November. I think they did this load around the, the 3rd or maybe the 8th of this month. And we can't, we, we followed up multiple times. We can't get anybody on the phone. So moral of the story is if you do a credit check <laughs> on the broker before you even turn on the truck to head to the shipper, if you do a credit check before you even pick up the phone to call the broker to negotiate pricing, well, in terms of order of our operations, that's what you need to do. Just like you tie your shoes before you walk out in the morning. You know, there's certain things you do before, you know, you get in your car and you get going. This is a defense protocol to be able to protect the trucking company to make sure that you're going to be paid for the work that you're doing. End of story. Um, it's really unfortunate for this trucking company, but they didn't follow the protocol. You know, it happens. Um, doesn't happen often. Really doesn't, but it's quite unfortunate. I want to make this quick video, explain this scenario. This way you do not make the same mistake. And it's holiday season, like I said. It's November 23rd, the, the two days before Thanksgiving. Christmas, everything's right around the corner. And these guys are short $2,600 because they didn't do a credit check on the broker. And don't be them. Use the tools and resources that we have available for you. If you need a username and password in order to hop into the system, um, just give me a call. I'll probably just give you my username and password for free, and you can just use it. If it's a tool and it adds value to you, I'm happy to help out. Um, that's what I do with everybody that I work with. I tend to be a person that gives more than what I receive, and I'm cool with it. I sleep great at night. So anyway, I want to make a quick video. Hopefully this was educational and informative. Again, don't be the person that gets googly-eyed and... 
doesn't follow the steps in terms of protection and looking out for your compensation. Do a credit check on every broker before you commit to taking a load. Otherwise, you're going to be like these people, and I don't want you to be like them. Catch you on the next video. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care. Bye.